So as the end of the year is winding down, we're taking a look at some of the ways that Make-A-Wish Utah has helped create some life-changing wishes for kids with critical illnesses. Joining us now is Jared Perry, the CEO and president of Make-A-Wish Utah. Welcome. We are so happy to have you. Thank you for having us. Let's start with you reminding us what Make-A-Wish is and does. You know, our mission is so simple, but it's incredibly impactful, and that is to create life-changing wishes for children that have critical illnesses. And we're doing that uh, for kids here in the state of Utah. So let's talk about how that helps them. Not just, it's so interesting, not just emotionally, but even physically. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we believe that wishing is part of the healing process. These kids have the, the most devastating medical diagnoses that there can be. And, and to be able to come to their lives and say, how do, how do we change the trajectory? How do we promote, you know, mental and physical health? And we do that through granting a wish. And if we could tell them, you know, let's tap into that imagination. And in your very worst moments, let's start thinking about a wish. Let's th start thinking about if you could do anything or if you could go anywhere, if you could have anything, what would that look like? and then let's make that wish possible. What are, the some, what are some of your big moments of 2022 and how are you closing out this year? You know, we, we came out of the pandemic this year and, and we just have taken off. We've had so many wish requests and so many kids being referred. We've, uh, we've actually exceeded all of our wish goals this year. So when I say exceeded those goals, these are kids in our community that have these individual wishes and granting over 230 of those to kids locally has been so meaningful for us from a staff perspective, but also it, it's, when we talk about that healing component of it, these are kids that are receiving those, those, uh, the ability to hope, to dream, and they're receiving their wish. While you're talking, we're looking at pictures of some of those adorable children that got those wishes granted. What were some of your favorites? Can you think back? some of the wishes that you thought, that's pretty darn cool. Yeah, you know, every wish is unique and, and special. There's one that's coming up that I think is really, really cool that we're gonna grant soon. Uh, a wish to be famous in New York City, right? Oh. Like how, that, that's pretty amazing. Um, they could go anywhere and this is what they wanna do is be famous in New York City. This little girl's got the most amazing voice and she can sing really great. Um, and so paparazzi is gonna follow her around New York City. It's, it's gonna be really unique. Um, that to, to building a playhouse to a child who's been isolated because of their illness uh, they can't go anywhere. They can't hang out with friends. And having community partners step up and come together and, and, and to build these playhouses and uh, creating backyard sanctuaries. These have been kind of some really unique, nice wishes we've been able to grant. I can't even imagine what that must feel like and feel like for the child and their families to watch that come true. What's in store for 2023? You know, for every wish we grant, there's another child that's waiting for a wish. So there's some urgency behind it. Um, a wish is only important if we can grant it in a time frame that matters most for the kid. When we talk about hope being a healing component, we want to make sure that the hope is there for kids in the very moment that they need it most during that diagnosis and that medical journey. And so we're calling on the community to help us. Uh, we want to grant more wishes than we ever have before. We're granting a wish Monday through Friday every day of the work week right now, and there's yet more to do. And so we need community support. Uh, we've been promoting supporters on, our, on your show here all year long. They've been phenomenal, and uh, we're, we're looking for more. Um, people can join us at utah.wish.org and find out how they can volunteer, how they can donate. And end of year is just a great time to donate anyway. So if you're looking to change the trajectory of a child's life and be the fuel that provides that hope, now's the time to do that. Because, Jared, we didn't mention each and every one of those wishes does cost money. It does. It does. And, uh, and we're seeing costs escalate like everybody else is seeing. Uh, and so, like I talked about, the, the urgency of the wishes is really important. Let everyone know that website one more time so Utah, they can help. Utah.wish.org. Or abc4.com slash daily dish, and we will link it. Jared, always good to see you. Thank you. And the whole team at Make-A-Wish Utah for all of you do. Here's hoping for a successful 2023. Thank you. Thank you so much.